Hi vlog. This is future Oriel talking to you. I completely forgot to film an intro. I just came back from a little tiny party that you guys will see in a second. But first, let me do a few days in my life and I'll see you here in a bit. Guys, this is very serious business. Actually, this is more of what I used to do in the past. I used to do more production work, not a lot of it, but a bit. But I am at an event called the 2023 National Leadership Mission. And I think the prime minister is gonna be here, other politicians, so the security is quite crazy here. Like they bring all the food in through security, that's how crazy it is. But anyways, I'm not much for politics, so I'm green. But what I actually like is seeing the cameramen of all of these news, news places like Channel 2, Channel 11, whoever, they're really like the same type of people and they sort of get along and they come and they put up their camera and they're like, where's the electricity? It's like camaraderie and I like it. I told my boss for the day, like, listen, I don't remember how to set up a camera anymore. It is quite simple. It's just that I think when I see so many like wires and things to connect and stuff like that, I get stressed. <laughs> also, I would not want the security guy's job. It seems to be so stressful. The security is so, so, so tight here. And also, if you're in a room with like very, very powerful people in suits, I don't think I'm like that so much. Oh my gosh, who's that? It's Mr. Dan, say hi to mom. Hi mom, how you do? He's made it in life. <laughs> I think I'm the only female uh, camera woman here. Oh, yeah. oh, look at that. I just noticed like they're all guys here. Oh, guys. Not a good choice of time. Uh, and I couldn't get any investors to come and invest in this one. It's very difficult. And I finally roped in six European investors. And I said, you know, you really, really should be investing in this one. Hey, We're done. Goodbye, Mr. Prime Minister. We're wrapping up in the lobby. I'm waiting here with the stuff, all the stuff, while the guys uh, get the van. But I've missed production life a bit. I don't miss like the camera part in the sense of like tearing it down or putting it up, but I think I missed like the camaraderie of actually working with people because I work basically alone. It's me and my thoughts and my computer. It's actually really nice to get the chance to do something with other people. So this has been fun. Good morning, everyone. It is Monday. We have another shooting day. I didn't get a lot of sleep. I fall asleep at about two or something like that. It's gonna be an interesting day. I'm getting the bus down to the hotel. Technically, I could walk, but I'll be cutting it a, bit, a little bit tight. So let's see what this day holds. Stuff up onto the gallows. Every time I try to walk Whoopsies. So usually when you're in city center, the bus driver will stop at every single station. You don't necessarily have to press that you need to stop. He didn't. <laughs> and I was looking down with my phone. So usually I would be like, oh, the door's opening, I'm leaving. But because that didn't happen and I was distracted, I didn't get off. So I'm actually going to take you guys on a morning walk, a little morning stroll through the park. I'm sure it's not early for most people. I got up at like 6.30. I do like to seize the day. Your face shining on me Walking in the truth that set me free It's all I need if you ever only for me But who could stand against Love is better than life Hello from the bathroom. We are on a break, so what they did on the first session is this is off the record, whatever, whatever, so we didn't film that, but now we're off the record again because the Minister of Foreign Affairs is here. Outfit of the day, production, all black of course. My hair is looking pretty curly-ish. I'm liking this look. Cool. They want to be citizens and not to be excluded. And about that, let me tell you what it is to be excluded. I am an adopted child, my biological parents did not 
Walk with me. I am at P2. P2 is on like a continuation of King George and Karen So P2 has really, really good pizza. They're a bit more on the expensive side, but they're very much worth it. So come to P2. I will link down below where it is. And uh, we have a very long break, so we are going to enjoy some pizza. And then I'll probably head home just to rest a bit and then come back. Guys, can you? I know I come here with like crazy hair sometimes, but like this is like something else. Look at that. Do you understand? I've had it in a ponytail the whole day. So apparently it's gonna be a long day. Look at the face, oh copper boy. I'll see you in a bit. That's it. <laughs> we just packed up the van and uh, we're on the, the back underbelly of the Inbal Hotel. But uh, we're done. No one, who the you're the Cause I could try, no one. Dressed up in a nice sparkly dress. I look pretty. And I'm gonna go celebrate with my friends and my family, and so I'm excited. It's gonna be fun. We're going to an Italian restaurant called Palomino. Really, we're just raising a glass to you and me because without you, I would not be doing YouTube. But in the meantime, I just wanted to say thank you. Ooh. Gorgeous. Bye, Cafe. <laughs> oh, hi, Mani is part of the celebration. <laughs> that have helped me get monetized. I hope that I can make many more videos and this is for them. Hey guys, I just said goodbye to my last friends on the train going behind me and uh, my mom was so sweet she bought me flowers and also like a plant flower you can see there inside I really really hope that I don't kill it but it was a really nice evening I'm just super grateful for you guys yeah super grateful tonight I am so grateful to have people in my life that support me and that love me and want to celebrate my successes. There's a man who was very influential. His name is Jordan Peterson. And he talks about what a true friend is. And he says a true friend is someone who you can say bad things that happen to you and share bad news and they will not try and fix it or anything, but just sit there and mourn with you and cry with you. And then you can also tell them good news and they will rejoice with you. And 
on neither of the sides will they try to one-up you and say, oh, I have it harder or I have it better. They'll just sit with you in whatever you are feeling. And so I have those people in my life and I'm very, very, very grateful for that. Anyways, I think I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope that you guys have enjoyed some typical, not so typical days in my life. I just wanted to say thank you guys for being here. I think not one of the next next vlogs but like at some point i will tell you guys the youtube story um but let me know if you even want to know the youtube story and how god actually called me to open a youtube channel so comment down below interact with me i love interacting with you guys honestly just it literally makes my day i try to get to all the messages so if i don't get to your message i'm sorry i love you guys if you're new here then welcome feel free to subscribe and if you are not new here then welcome back and I will see you guys in a vlog very soon.